It's about marriage and relationships, friendships, infidelity, and what, what bonds people together. So I think it's relevant for any people who have relationships with each other. Jacqueline is a very elegant, very smart, very passionate uh, mistress of the house. And she and her husband, uh, Bernard, played by Adam, uh, have been married a number of years and we're a little bored. So we sort of branch out. <laughs> But we don't know we're branching out. That's that's the fun. One of the things that's really fun in this play is I get to kiss everybody. And you know, you get to a certain age and you don't get the kissing parts anymore. So I think that's one of the reasons why I took it. I was like, oh, it's just going to be really fun. It's a, to play like a sexy party girl that gets to kiss everybody and has affairs. Bernard is having an affair with a girl called Suzanne. And there's also a cook called Suzette who's coming for the weekend, and then I mistake one for the other, and then it just escalates into lies upon lies upon lies, and becomes completely ridiculous. You're the one who mistook my girlfriend for a cook! You're the one who booked the cook in the first You're place! You're the one who- Boys, 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 calm down. It's too late to fight about it now. We'll work it out somehow. Just as long as you sort it out by two. Oh, and to be honest with you, I thought this was going to be sort of a, a lovely little sort of slight holiday job. I'll come to Broadway, do a little comedy, it'll be fine. It's been exhausting. The rhythms are very, very special on this kind of farce. It's very, very uh, uh, difficult to explain. If you have to explain, then you're, you've lost it. Who are you? I'm his girlfriend. <laughs> No, 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 that's what I told her to say, because I thought she was you know who. who? But if she isn't, who? who is she? Who? 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 Oh, do stop all that hooting. This particular translation of, um, of Don't Dress for Dinner is kind of uniquely British in its delivery. Uh, and I think what Joey has done brilliantly is have two British guys, but with two American ladies, giving it a really sort of lovely international feeling. I think it's fantastic that the actors are British because this style of comedy, I think, adapts really well to the British cadence. And I think it also it makes it more like Faulty Towers as opposed to Three's Company because every the way that they talk, it just makes it seem like a little bit wittier than it is actually. People don't understand about farce. It is truly the hardest thing to do. Tragedy is hard, uh, comedy is harder, and farce is almost impossible.